So I'm the front office manager and assistant COO. Uh, so basically, a lot of what I do is direct traffic is what I kind of tell people. Uh, we take a lot of phone calls, so we get those calls to the correct folks. Got a lot of folks that come in through the front office, donors, uh, folks looking for shelter, volunteers. You know, we get them all off to the correct people. Get a lot of questions. Sometimes we're kind of like the information for homeless folks. Uh, they want to know, you know, what do we do? What do we offer? Do we off offer certain things? How does it work to get in here? How do they, you know, they want to learn about our programs. Um, donors want to know about, you know, how they make a donation, donation hours. Um, then we have, you know, volunteers that come in, you know, they want to know, you know, how they can volunteer, so forth. So we kind of direct them to the appropriate folks. We answer a lot of basic questions and then uh, kind of get them sent off to, you know, the volunteer coordinators, the kitchen manager, whoever it may be that uh, needs, needs to uh, give them kind of the final answers. Well, the vision is to help homelessness um, one, one life at a time. And that's really how it is. There's a million different reasons why someone could end up homeless. A lot of people have this kind of stereotypical vision of why people are homelessness. Sometimes they don't realize how close um, these folks could be to them. Uh, it could be something as simple as, you know, dad lost job, made it hard, mom lost job, lost house. Uh, so there's financial, there's folks with medical issues, there's folks with mental health or physical issues, folks with addiction issues. So there's a wide range of, of folks that might end up homeless. Uh, our vision here is to try to help each of them as best as we can, if we can, uh, for folks that are willing to accept that help. Um, so we help them out as best we can. Hopefully they get back on their feet and become, go back in, into society. I try, I joke around with a lot of them as they're leaving. I, I tell them, I hope I don't see you back here. And they kind of, well, what does that mean? I says, because if you're back here, it didn't work out. So I try to, you know, tell them, you know, I hope it works out. And, you know, if I see you out there in the community, great. Um, but it's a battle for a lot of people. Um, some people don't realize how many people are a paycheck away from, you know, joining us. And it is, it is an eye opener for folks that, you know, they come in and start working here. And they realize, you know, hey, these are people just like me. And there's, there is uh, a lot of folks out there that think, oh, you know, that can never happen to me. You know, they, they choose to be homeless. No, most of them do not. They do not choose to be homeless. Um, something happens in their life and they hit the hard times. Um, so, you know, we do the best we can to help them. You know, our phrase, you know, we try to give them a hand up. Um, and sometimes, you know, for the front office, we're the first voice they hear for Joy Junction. Um, I mean, we've literally had people that will be crying on the phone because, you know, they've, hey, I've never been in this situation. I don't know what to do. And we try to help them as best as we can. Um, give them information, tell them, you know, here, you know, we'll, we'll get you picked up. We'll get you come bring it in here. Um, and if it's something that we can't help, someone that, you know, they're trying to get you know, rental assistance or something we don't know. My advice too often, a lot of those folks, is I said, you know, it doesn't hurt to make phone calls. Find out who can, who can get, give you help out there. Albuquerque is a very generous community. Try to help a lot of folks out as best as we can. We're a Christian ministry. Uh, we don't push it on people. We try to show it probably through actions, through the, the programs we have, through helping out people. Um, obviously, if you're in a nonprofit, you're not in it for money. You know, you're, you're to help people. Uh, it's one of the few jobs that I can probably go home and say I've helped some people directly. Um, um, as far as the, the gospel and stuff, I leave that up to our chaplain. Uh, during the classes, we can hear him in the office all the time and stuff. Um, and I think for us front office, is, you know, our job is to support those folks that are, that are front line with the residents every night, every day. 99.9% um, .9 of our residents are great people, don't cause any issues. We spend some time on the 0.1% the, the sometimes, uh, and we give them plenty of chances. We want them to, um, sometimes it takes a bit to realize, hey, I need to stop what I'm doing and do something different. Well, people can get involved in a, a number of ways. Obviously, we, we survive on the, uh, the gener generosity of Albuquerque both private individuals and companies. We don't take any 
uh, government funds because we don't want the strings attached that comes with that. But we um, people become become volunteers. That's how I became involved. I was a volunteer to start with. Uh, but uh, people can offer donations, um, food, clothing, um, hygiene. You know, we uh, um, stuff that we can't use. You know, immediately or, or give to folks here. We can't take to our thrift store. They can sell it there, and it's our thrift store. So the non you know, the profits come back to us and we can use that to further the ministry here. Um, I think sometimes the best thing is come in and volunteer and learn more about us. There's volunteer orientation literally every day of the year. Folks can come in, learn about Joy Junction, learn about what we do, learn about how uh, they can become involved. And honestly, for volunteering, it's a wide range. You know, if, if someone has a special skill or interest and stuff, we could probably make it happen. And... Uh, and they can uh, help a lot of folks out. Sometimes, you know, it's just that one person they can help out. And it's amazing. Even in the front office, a lot of times we don't see these people in person. Uh, a lot of the time it's over the phone. But it's kind of funny as sometimes, you know, how they know those voices. They know us. Um, they'll come up and, you know, thank us. You know, hey, you were the ones that picked up the phone. Because sometimes they say, you know, sometimes we call these other places and we can never get anyone to pick up the phone. And, you know, obviously they're scared, you know, they're in a, a bad situation. They want help. And, you know, once we pick up the phone, they realize, hey, there's, you know, maybe these five can help me. I think I've always have, had a kind of history helping folks. Uh, like I said, before I came here, I was helping fight cancer. Now my fight is against homelessness. Um, so I think, you know, it's something I can go home and be proud of. My family's proud of it. Matter of fact, they come in and volunteer a lot. My boys, staff is real hard working. You know what, these folks do a lot with very little for a lot of people. So, if you know, we would love to do more if we could. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.